Hello! Today's topic is on Chapter 8, Form 4, KSSM, Respiratory System in Humans and Animals. The content standard for today's lesson is on 8.2, Mechanism of Breathing. The learning standard is 8.2.1, Compare and Contrast Breathing Mechanism in Humans and Animals. Now, we look at the breathing mechanism of insects. We look at the inhalation first. During inhalation of the insect, the abdominal muscle relax. When the abdominal muscle relax, the pressure inside the trachea will decrease as compared to the atmospheric pressure. So meaning the pressure outside is higher compared to the pressure inside the trachea. Therefore, the air from the atmosphere is forced to enter the trachea through the spiracle. Now, we look at the exhalation process. During exhalation, the abdominal muscle contract. So when the abdominal muscle contract, the pressure inside the trachea increase. Pressure increase as compared to the pressure outside. Therefore, the air is forced to go out from the trachea through the spiracle, going to the atmosphere. Now, we look at the breathing mechanism of frog. The first two pictures shows the inhalation process in frog. Okay, now we look at the first picture. In the first picture, the mouth of the frog closed. The glottis also closed. The floor of the buccopharyngeal cavity lowered, going down. So when it goes down, then the volume inside the buccopharyngeal cavity will increase. So when the volume increase, the pressure will decrease. When the pressure inside the buccopharyngeal cavity decrease, then the air from the atmosphere is forced to enter the buccopharyngeal cavity through the nostril. Now, the nostril close. The glottis open. The floor of buccopharyngeal cavity raise going up. Due to that, the pressure inside the buccopharyngeal cavity will increase. Therefore, it will force the air just now to enter the lung of the frog. Okay. Now, going to exhalation process. For the exhalation, the lung of the frog will contract. When the lung contract, the pressure inside the lung will increase. This will force the air to move out through the nostril. Next is the breathing mechanism of fish. We look at the inhalation process. It started with the mouth of the fish open. Then the floor of the buccal cavity is lowered, going down. The opiculum opening, this is the opiculum, the opiculum opening close. Due to that, the volume of the opicular cavity will increase. When the volume increase, the pressure will decrease. Okay. When the pressure decrease as compared to the outside, then it will force the water to enter through the mouth of the fish. Next is the exhalation process in fish. During exhalation, the mouth of the fish will close. The floor of the buccal cavity is raised. Water just now will move entering the lamella at the gill. The opicular muscle will relax. The buccal cavity volume reduce. Volume reduce meaning the pressure getting higher as compared to outside. Due to that, the water now is forced 
to go out through the operculum. Next is breathing mechanism in humans. Now we look at the inhalation process in human. It started with external intercostal muscle of the rib cage will contract, the internal intercostal muscle will relax. The rib cage will move upward and outward. The diaphragm muscle contract and the diaphragm will move downward and it will become flat diaphragm. The volume of the thorax increases. When the volume increases, the pressure will decrease. Okay, it will be the opposite. So, the air is forced to enter the lung. Next is exhalation, exhalation in human. Exhalation start with external intercostal muscle relax, internal intercostal muscle contract. The rib cage will move downward and inward. The diaphragm muscle relax and the diaphragm will curve upward. The volume of the thorax decrease therefore the pressure will increase when the pressure is increased then the air inside the lung is forced to go out now we look at the differences and the similarities between the breathing mechanism in humans and animals we will compare all these four insects fish frogs and humans the first difference is in the respiratory structure respiratory structure in insect is spherical respiratory structure in fish is mouth and opiculum respiratory structure in frog is nostril respiratory structure in human is also nostril the structure that helps breathing in insect are thorax and abdomen. Whereas the structure that helps breathing in fish are opicular and muscular floor or buccal cavity. In frogs, the structure that helps breathing are buccal pharyngeal cavity. In humans, the structures that helps breathing are diaphragm, ribcage, and intercostal muscle. The breathing mechanism in insect is assisted by the contraction and relaxation of the abdominal muscle. The breathing mechanism in fish is assisted by the movement of floor of buccal cavity and also the movement of the opiculum. The breathing mechanism in frog is assisted by the rapid movement of the buccal pharyngeal cavity floor and also the elasticity of the lung. The breathing mechanism in human is assisted by the contraction and relaxation of the intercostal muscle and the diaphragm muscle and also the movement of the rib cage. Now going to the similarities, humans and all the three types of animals just now have special muscular structure to expand and contract the respiratory cavity. The next similarity is breathing mechanism involves changes in the volume and pressure in the respiratory cavity. Remember, the volume and pressure they are going in the opposite direction, meaning when the volume increases, the pressure decreases. When the volume decreases, the pressure will increase. That's all for today's lesson. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye-bye.